Alright guys, Supreme Com here and today we'll be taking a look at the Gatos Reptom and then Gato himself just to see should you guys summon for them. So let's start out with the actual Yin itself and let's kind of take a look at these uh, animation and that's pretty much it. So it's just a straight up bazooka beaming at the enemy. Uh, you guys can definitely let me know how would you guys rate the overall animation itself. Um, maybe purely speaking of for the aesthetics, right? Um, how does that appeal to you guys? Um, for me personally, I mean, I, I, I mean, do I like like a straight beam attack like that? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. Uh, I'm not really. You know, sometimes you want some really simplistic EX skill. Uh, maybe this one is it. Um, this is literally a beam spamming at your face. You got one of those. This one probably does it for you. Uh, so when we talk about a little more in depth, uh, going to the more analytical aspect for this unit. So this one is going to be a frontline unit, and this one is going to be a tank unit itself. So uh, there are some few specifics that we will be looking at as far as a tank unit. Uh, first of all, the HP. Secondly, um, how good does it reduce or kind of like uh, reduces the beam and then the projectile. So looking at what we have right here at 68k and then we have the, uh, what is it, the reduce for the projectile is 1500. Reduce on the beam is going to be 2100. So we are going to keep these number kind of, I guess, accountable for the time being. And then we will go over to the website just in a little bit just to see uh, future releases. Kind of do some comparing and contrast to see what do we have as far as the tank option. But I will have to say, I think tank overall is definitely not a um, area that is well represented as far as uh, the options. Um, I think the overall option is not nearly as much as some of the other uh, specifications. So we do want to keep that in mind as well. So EX scale is going to be the beam bazooka and this is going to be the overall effects. So as far as uh, looking at the um, EX scale effects, we will take a look at it at let's say without any enhancement. So we do want to see what is at raw. So it's still going to be, uh, is it? Does it not show you what is it initially? Uh, because I want to see does that number changes and it's not. Hmm. I want to see this one probably gets a little bit lowered because I don't I don't think it's gonna be at 18% what it would it be um, I am actually gonna be taking a look at my JP account just to see um, yes I do have this on my JP account and I can just kind of take a look to see if the uh, because th this is an important life for a tank unit because this one is a uh, for 20 seconds reduce or a we uh, we store 18% of max AP, ma max HP every five seconds. So that is going to be very vital for a tank unit because the ability to heal, self heal like that, is incredible. Like the ability to increase uh, resistance or increase uh, damage reduction. Those are things we want from a tank unit. So I'm um, having this right there is actually a very very good sign ready. But what I'm most interesting most interested in uh, does that number get changed it depending on the uh, enhancement it does okay yeah it does so my unfortunately i'm taking a look at my account so my is at least at two uh two bar enhancement so starting out at 14 percent for that one so yeah so since this one is a max out bar, so that's why you guys are seeing 18%. So this number actually does get a little bit lower as well. So that is going to be a problem for the long run itself because, uh, you know, um, I feel like tank itself, depending on the situation, you still die relatively fast depending on the enemies that you do get faced with. So I do have a little bit of a worrisome looking at the HP and then looking at the um, how much does it actually recover. So let's kind of keep going. Uh, the transcendent skill at level five. So this is pretty much when you have it at fully max. So uh, I don't really expect um, new like new player, especially this game is being new, um, to have a transcendent already. Um, it's actually give it a really size of above, like increase the max HP by twenty five percent. So it's pretty much going to be giving a quarter of that. It is going to be very important, believe it or not. Um, just having a little bit more HP is going to be very good. Uh, when the battle begins, increase the main weapon uh, beam damage. Um, being a tank, I don't really 
find it having an increased damage is going to be that much helpful i was really expecting something that's going to give like a damage reduction or more healing capability but we don't really see that but it is going to give you a uh, 70 you are going to start the battle with 70 percent ex skill gauge which is actually pretty good so you can uh instantly get that ex skill up so you can you know already start that uh HP re regeneration, but kind of keep that in mind. We are talking about a transcendent skill five, so most people wouldn't really have that. So this whole section is pretty much really good benefit, but at the same time, you're just not going to be able to take advantage of it because of the high cost investment at the time being. Uh, the skill one and two is actually how how do we take a look at this? I think the skill one is actually definitely really really good because it, it is straight up increases your uh, projectile damage resistant by 22% so that is good um, so we are looking at 1500 so that's obviously going to get uh, increased so that's actually not bad because this one is actually the lowest one that we're looking at so having that increase on this spot is actually not that bad but the second skill is going to be a little bit worrisome so when 80% is remaining so does it um, how I'm reading it is you have to be at that or more right so it's good that you are getting more beam resist uh beam damage reduction resistant or whatever but once you get once you fall below the last threshold the 50 percent this whole skill 2 becomes garbage right so when you are playing with this unit um you really have to have someone that consistently heal this unit or is so consistently healing so I think that's going to be a problem in the long term because once you once you start once you fall below that fifty percent, you're going to start taking a lot more damage. So that's not going to be too healthy for this unit at all. Yeah, that's 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 going to be the problem. Uh, I don't really care too much about the what kind of number we're doing for this one over here because, like I said again, this main focus we're looking at a few specific point. How well does it tank? How well does it really recover HP? And then all those good stuff. So. Um, I think overall it looks good, but when we do take a look at the other ones, other selection that we have, uh, the main flaw is going to be something that is pretty, pretty, um, you can say just right out of <laughs> face, face value, you, you can say. Um, so got the website over here. So the main drawbacks that the uh, Gato's ripped on is, is actually the HP. Um, here we are taking a look at the few options that we have as far as the tank option. So we have the GPO2, HP at level 176k, right? This is a free unit that we will eventually get. This is the uh, full armor powered gym 3. What's the HP looking at? 85, right? Okay. And then if we take a look at this one, uh, this is a limited unit. This is the Kasi Gundam. And this one is starting out at 91,000, okay? All right. And then I think this one should be, I don't want to put this one there yet. We should take a look at this one. This one is the Penelope. So these both, uh, I think both these banners drop nearly at the same timing. This one, 91,000 again, all right? And then this is uh, another ripped on, but this one is the Thunderbolt version. What does this one have for us? This one is looking at 87. And then last but not least, I'm going to give you guys uh, the more, uh, this one is rated the highest uh, value by how they're ranking it. Uh, the full armor double Seda. What is this one looking at? 92,000. So here's going to be a common trend that we see. Uh, since this one, I guess is more like an early uh, unit syndrome. It does not have the highest status for what we're looking for, the HP. It's very unfortunate. I I really don't know why they don't they don't really give us like a higher HP for this unit. But uh, if we take a look at some of the other um, offenses, like the other um, like the defensive style, whatnot, they're nearly the same. It's only the HP. So I really don't get it. So that I feel like is gonna be the only flaw this unit has. So um, but if we do take a look at some of the other, uh, let's say the skills and whatnot, like this is a lot. A lot more in depth. Like this is pretty much gonna allow you to survive a little bit better, more, uh, you know, some other tangible to your ally. So that's good. Um, 
I think the full armor double seta is the only one that I've seen. I didn't really take a look at all of them, so I'm just kind of spot checking. But this one actually gives things to your ally. That's pretty nice. This one over here is not. What is this one? This one is the the other Rip Dom. Uh, I believe this one has a little bit more HP recovery, but this one, this one is just more like when you're taking damage. So this one is gonna be fairly consistent because if you are, uh, if you are a tank, you're gonna be a frontline unit. You will take more damage pretty much. Um, they are even the free unit, even this one. This is literally what we need, right? Consistent, right? Start of the battle, eleven percent for both. So. Like, what else do you need? So, I don't know. I, I just feel like because this unit released way too early into the meta, where the other one does things better than what the Riptom is currently doing. Uh, but if you are specifically looking at the yellow option, I mean, we don't. We only really have this one and then the SR. So, uh, if you're looking for a tank for your yellow element, I mean, Rip Dom is probably the best option you have until you get to the uh, the other double Zeta that we have. Like this is gonna be later down the road, so we're not even gonna get this like anytime soon. Um, so that's just the unfortunate factor. It's just the yellow element right now is <laughs> is looking pretty sad. <laughs> like all the other element has a lot. Like I, I don't I don't know, man. But um, this is just more like a comprehensive comparison for you guys. This is not necessarily to judge how bad the rip dumb is but it's more just giving an example of what we have in the future and whatnot but um now taking a look at got to him so um i think he's actually not uh as well as the pilot i didn't really do any more comparison i'm pretty much looking at what is doing face value right now um he's pretty good for a tank unit obviously uh but uh as far as what he is doing for school too like uh 90 or 75 percent what he's doing is pretty much you having to pair it with a unit that has blue mobile suit which being because this rip thumb is actually a color blue so that's why it has that uh zaku force affiliated and then the rip thumb type or thumb type so uh, i think this is going to be a huge huge hindrance as far as what this is able to pair to another unit uh, I think if you do pair this to another unit, there's going to be so much um, skills uh, description or what it's offering. It's not going to be applicable to a lot of units. So that is going to be a problem. This is the only one that is going to work if you do pair it with a tank, right? You know, this one is good. Increased resistance, that is going to be to your soul. That's actually pretty high. Uh, 170, so that's pretty good. Uh, the other thing, like this one, probably, yeah, this one definitely work, right? So... These two at most will work, but uh, if you're not pairing it to a yellow uh, unit, like what are you what are you gonna do with this one? So um, as good as like of a description skill two has, it's just a lot of them is not gonna be applicable if you don't apply it to the specific uh, unit. So um, so I, I think I think Gato definitely fell up in the mark because there's not gonna be always a a dom. There's not always gonna be a uh Xeon force affiliated right uh, especially that fits every category like blue mobile suits i mean some of them is blue mobile suits so i mean that should work but you're just not going to be able to get every effects out of it so i feel like you know long term wise it it may be good it may be not depending on what is on you what what, what we'll be releasing so that's why we rely on the uh the jp version because we know ahead of time what is releasing so um, out of that, I feel like Gato is, man, just, just not that good, like, you know, he just, so, um, I think overall, as far as, you know, this two, like, these two combos, right, the, the, the overall package is gonna work for so really perfectly, but if you only have Gato himself, you pair with another unit, I don't really think it's gonna work that well, so, uh, you guys can definitely let me know how you guys feel about this overall, uh, overall Gato's, uh, Rip Dom. Um, I think, do you guys think he, he does everything he needs as a tank unit, a frontline unit? Um, you guys can definitely let me know that in the comment section below, but, um, other than that, that's pretty much what I have for you guys, and I'll be catching you guys on, on the next one.